own end. Take one. Good morning, everyone. And now, here's all the news that you can use on ONN, the OWL News Network. Today, we welcome Ms. Connolly's second grade class. Would everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now Ms. Conley will lead her class in the patriotic song, followed by the character pledge and the always popular class presentation. First time on TV, and I'm so excited. Um, second grade today, we have learned about our ocean, and they would like to share the information that they learned. Hi, my name is Jacqueline. Did you know that the Florida State Marine Mammal is the manatee? It's also called the sea cow. Hi, my name is Sophia. Manatees are on the Vectin species list, which means they are in danger of becoming extinct. Hi, I'm Allison, and humans are responsible for about half of manatee deaths, the most common cause of death for manatees being struck by boats and barges. Hi, my name is Riley. Also, boat propeller blades can cause serious injury because they can cut a manatee's skin to pieces, so slow down, brothers, and obey the no wake signs. Did you know that Florida State saltwater mammal is the dolphin? Dolphins can live between 40 and 60 years. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Musa. Interesting fact to learn. Dolphins have no sense of smell. They do, however, have excellent eyesight and very good hearing. Hi, my name is Habiba. Dolphins use echolocation, it's like sonar, to determine where it is going to go. They use a variety of sounds, barks, clicks, and whistles to talk to each other and hunt for food. Hi, my name is Bethany. Dolphins are not endangered like the manatees. They are protected by the Marine Mammals Protection Act. Hi, my name is Yishan. Instead of using their teeth to chew, dolphins rip fish with their teeth. Then they swallow the fish whole head first so the spines of the fish don't catch in their throats. So smart! Hi, my, hi, my name is Alexander. 
One of the main threats to dolphins is getting caught in fishing gear, as well as commercial fishing gear. Dolphins can, oh, I mean, dolphins also get tangled up in regular fishing string and can accidentally swallow it too. Hi, my name is Andrew. Remember Winter? She is a famous dolphin that lives at the Quarrier Aquarium. She got caught up and tangled in a crab trap, which resulted in her losing her tail. Hi, my name is Dahlia. We have thousands of different kinds of marine life that live in our oceans. Some other examples, sea turtles, sharks, stingrays, jellyfish, crabs, pufferfish, sand dollars, and octopuses. Hi, my name's Allie. We need to take better care of our oceans because humans have been hurting our oceans for a long time. Here's how. Hi, my name is McKenna. Pesticides that we put on our lawns, farms, and golf courses run into our rivers and end up in our oceans. Pesticides are believed to be responsible in part for our ascending red tide. Bloom's red tide can kill our sea life because it uses up all the oxygen in the water. Hi, my name is Delaney. Trash, did you know it now did you know that our oceans contain about five point twenty five trillion pieces of plastic? All of that plastic weighs about 269,000 tons. That's about as much as 45,000 elephants. Our sea creatures eat this plastic and many die because of it. Hi, my name is Alice. Plastic takes about 500 to 1,000 years to break down. Please, always pick up your trash at the beach or anywhere else in the recycle. Help save our beautiful oceans! Wow. Uh, thank you, Ms. Conley's class, for that very informative presentation. And now here's Emma Lynn from the fifth grade with all the news. Hello, everyone. As you know, we had an extremely successful grandparents and grandfriends day on our campus last Friday. Everyone loved it. Wait. Everyone had a wonderful time, and our special guests love seeing all the class projects, listening to the Why I Love My Grandparent essays, visiting the very popular book fair, and taking pictures with their grandchildren. Did you know that over 200 grandparents and grandfriends came to the fun event? We especially want to thank our, our parent group for providing delicious refreshments for our honored guests and for assisting in all facets of the terrific day. Now that's a... Uh... Wow! As you know, Open House was held yesterday, and the attendance was outstanding for this event. Once again, our parent group made the evening special, special by serving delicious treats to one and all. By the way, did you know that you can see each week's ONN broadcast on our homepage? Just type www.genesiselementary.com. You can access the latest Genesis news, notes, and the monthly calendar on the homepage, too. You can watch Sunil Moser give a Spanish lesson for all grades on her teacher page, also. And you can find the latest it class assignments, and news on your teacher page. So visit our terrific website in today, and don't forget to tell your parents. Now that's a triple. Wow, wow, wow! Thank you, Emily. You gave a terrific news report. And now here's Nolan from the third grade with today's weather forecast. Today will be partly cloudy with ten, a 10% 10 chance of rain. The high will be 89 degrees. Stay cool. Thank you, Nolan. And now we'll end our broadcast by singing our school song and saying our spirit cheer. Is everybody in the classes ready? Yes! Everybody in the studio ready? Yes! Here we go.
Hey, MLN, I've got some breaking news. At this time, we would like to invite all elementary classes to the playground for a special ceremony. We'll see you outside. Thanks for watching ONN. Bye!